Hi, I'm Tony. Welcome to So So Lounge. Today we're talking about thimbles. Thimbles are the little cap that you put on your finger to help push your needle through when you're hand sewing. And thimbles come in a wide variety of materials. So nowadays you can get them in this kind of heavy rubber plastic that fits on your finger and it's gonna kind of warm up with your body temperature so it gives you a nice tight fit. Um, there's also the traditional silver metal thimble that's closed on the top, which most of you will probably recognize as one of the pieces in Monopoly. There's also tailor's thimbles, which have a hole in the top. So those are used more by tailors than anyone else. And over the years, thimbles have been made of a variety of different materials, including porcelain, silver, and even bone. I was in an antique shop in Central Texas and I came across this really cool wooden thimble which happened to fit my hand perfectly, so of course I had to buy it. Today I'm going to teach you how to properly wear a thimble, how to hold your needle when you're sewing with a thimble, and then a good way to practice wearing a thimble and getting used to where you have to put your finger. Let's go in for a closer look. So the first thing you need to know about a thimble is that you're gonna be wearing it on your middle finger. So if it fits your middle finger, that's the way to go. Um, that's the finger you want to test. The good news is, is that the cards that the thimbles are displayed on are usually have a hole in the back. So then you can stick your finger and see which one fits the best. Now, some thimbles are sized by numbers and some are sized by just small, medium, large. Um, these rubbery kind were just small and medium, I believe. Um, and I have both of them because the red one fits when my hands are cold but then it stretches once they start warming up and it's a little too big. Um, it's a little tight with the green thimble, but once I start sewing, my hands warm up, then it stretches, it fits perfectly. These are both the exact same size thimble. So um, if you look inside, there is a number in there, which you can see, and it says 15 millimeters. So that's the size. It's, I know these are the exact same, um, even though they feel a little different. And then these thimbles have the size marked on the side. So this is a 10 and I think this is a 15.5. Yeah, 15.5. So the 10 is going to be a little too big and I don't know why that number is smaller, um, but it is for the bigger thimble, but I don't know. Um, the 15.5 fits um, the best. Um, this is a 14 thimble which has it printed on the side. These came from Amazon, so um, these are millimeters. I don't know what the other numbers are based on. Obviously the 10 seems to not be millimeters, but so this is a 14 and then the one that fits the best is a 16. So I think for my finger, it's probably 15 and a half to 16 to get the best comfort fit. But that's how you want it to fit on your finger so that when you start sewing, it stays where it's supposed to and doesn't fall off. You may be wondering how you hold a needle when you're wearing a thimble. So first off, put your thimble on and then take your needle, presumably threaded, and you're gonna hold your needle between your thumb and your index finger. And I usually like to hold it in the middle. That's why I like a bit longer uh, needle because then I'm not struggling, my hand doesn't start cramping. Because you want to hold your needle and then you wanna be able to push it with the side of your thimble. Now, some people push with the top of the thimble, I was taught by Taylor. So this is how tailors hold thimbles. And that's how I learned how to hold a thimble. So um, side seems to be kind of a little easier to me, but do what you feel is comfortable. So that's how you'd hold that. And with the tailor's thimble, you actually have these nice little holes, divots to put your needle into to help push it through. And just, so, you know, these rubber thimbles, if you are pushing very hard, you have a thicker needle, it can puncture and then stab you in the finger. That happened to me the other day using one of these. So it's always good to have a backup metal thimble um, so that when you do have thicker fabric, um, you can just push it through and not sustain any injuries. So something to keep in mind. Two thimbles is always better than one. Plus if you lose one, you've always got a backup. Now you may be wondering, how you get used to holding your finger in this kind of bent position. Well, as I mentioned, I did learn from a tailor and he had his own special finger torture device contraption 
to assist with this process. So I have a piece of soutache braid. I ran it through the top of the thimble and you can only do this with a tailor's thimble, obviously, because they were open at the top. Then you tie it so that your finger is in this bent position. And sometimes it's harder to do, so you might need to have a friend assist with this part of the process. Okay, oops, now I caught the other finger, wrong finger, okay. So now I've got it tied, um, my finger, this is where it's supposed to be. So now when I go back to holding my needle, my thimble is always in the right position and that's where it should be. So that's where your finger should be and then that's where the needle goes and you can see that you're using the divots to help push it through. Now, I wore this when I watched TV and um, I would also wear it when I was sewing, obviously, when I was starting to learn how to really hand sew well. And after a point, your finger is gonna cramp. So whenever that happens, stop. But the good news is, is that you're kind of creating this muscle memory. So then once you actually take the braid out and you actually start using it, your finger is just gonna go back to that kind of bent position and it'll be easier to use with the needle. So. You don't have to use the finger torture device, but it really will help you get used to where your finger needs to be for the thimble. So let's go over for an actual um, example of some sewing. So I'm back at the sewing machine, but I'm just using it for the lighting over here because I am tacking the facing of this skirt to the zipper. And I want to, I'm gonna have to sew that by hand because if I sew it with the machine, it's gonna sew through on the other side. I kind of don't want that um, happening with this skirt. So that's what I'm working on. And we're gonna go in for a closer look. So I've got my needle and it's threaded and there's a knot in the end. So I'm ready to start. My facing is pinned to my zipper. And this is kind of thick through here because I've got this outside layer of my yoke sewn to the zipper and then the facing is folded over at the bottom and at the side to get the finish, uh, finished edge. So I'm using my metal thimble because I know this is thick through here and because I was using the rubber thimble the other day and the needles stabbed me. So I don't want to do that again. You're going to go through the zipper tape into the bottom corner of the facing and then I'm going to push through with my, knee, my thimble and then I'm going to pull out the needle and then I go back. So once again that is you can see how I've got my needle on my thimble. I'm holding the needle but I'm pushing with the thimble. Once the needle is about halfway through I'm going to let go of it and then just continue to push the rest of the needle through using the side of the thimble. Then I'm going to grab that needle and pull the thread through and I'm just going to continue up with that process, same way, and do a whip stitch to the side to attach this facing to the zipper. Take out the pin. And that's how you use a thimble. So it makes your life a lot easier. It protects the side of your finger. And um, once you get the hang of how to keep the thimble on and how to use it when you're sewing, it's very easy to get hand sewing done. It's, it's less of a chore because you're not constantly stabbing yourself, which is painful and let's face it, it makes you not want to do any hand sewing. So keep going and before you know it, you will have your facing attached to a zipper or whatever you are working on. And then before you know it, you'll be done. So that's it. That's how you use a thimble to hand sew. And that is it. So I'm gonna do it again. So you can see it one more time, pull that pin out. One last time, needle is in. I'm pushing it through. I've let go of it. I'm pushing it through I don't know why that thread's curling. There we go. Pushing it through with the side of the thimble. Once I get to the bottom, then I'm gonna grab the needle again 
and then pull the thread all the way through. So that's it. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Now you know how to do hand sewing using a thimble. I promise that if you take the time to learn how to use your thimble and hold your needle in the right way, it's gonna save you so much time and energy, plus it's gonna save your finger. You'll thank me for it later. If you've enjoyed this video, please click like below and subscribe to my channel so you never miss a stitch. And if you've got questions, but no one to answer them, head on over to Let's Talk Sewing for Beginners hosted by SoSo -So Lounge. It's an interactive Facebook group and you can ask all the questions you want and I will do my very best to get you some answers. I go live in the group on Wednesdays, so check the event tab for the schedule. Until we meet again, happy sewing. Thank you.